Don't you dare laugh. <laughs> Every bride has her day. But what about the ladies of her wedding party? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments in Bridesmaids. What, do you have four boyfriends? Exactly. Yeah, okay. Have fun having a baby at your prom. You look like an old mop. You know what? You're not as popular as you think you are. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the most memorable moments from this hit 2011 comedy that proved to be so much more than a quote-unquote chick flick. I put a, uh, a loaded gun in Dougie's carry-on. <laughs> TSA is gonna just rip his ass apart. In case you haven't seen the movie yet, consider this your spoiler alert. Number 10, Annie and Rhodes hang out. You want a carrot? Right now? Yeah. I'll share. I've got, I've got plenty. Although friendship is the central theme in Bridesmaids, the film also takes time for a little romance. After getting pulled over, Annie begins a flirtatious relationship with Officer Nathan Rhodes. Crossing paths again at a mini-mart later on, they strike up a conversation about carnival weddings and the beauty found in every ugly carrot. You got the ugly carrot? What? <laughs> There's one in every bag. You have to eat it. It's good luck. I'm not eating this. Yeah. When Annie claims she has what it takes to be a cop, Rhodes lets her use his radar gun as the sun comes up. Put your left hand behind your head. Yeah, just drop your left hip. <laughs> the scenes between Annie and Rhodes might be fairly simple, but that's largely what makes their courtship so sweet and relatable. Sometimes just watching two people hang out can be infinitely more romantic than a grand gesture. Number 9, Annie Gets Rhodes' Attention when the bride-to-be goes missing, Annie seeks out Officer Rhodes for help. Since the two aren't on speaking terms, though, Annie needs to take drastic measures to get his attention. I want to get his attention. Annie? Oh my god! Reckless driving! She breaks just about every law imaginable, from reckless driving, to littering, to indecent exposure. I'm totally topless! All the while, Rhodes tries to keep his eyes on his paper, while Helen reluctantly goes along for the ride. Rhodes is finally pushed over the edge when Annie rams into his vehicle, forcing him to address the elephant in the street. In addition to being uproarious, Annie's wild antics demonstrate her dedication to Lillian, and just how far she'll go to fulfill her duties as maid of honor. Hey, who's driving that car? Number 8, Tennis Game. Carol! Get the shit together, Carol! Annie may be Lillian's maid of honor, but Helen is determined to prove that she's the bride's best friend. Thus, an ongoing rivalry is born, with Annie and Helen butting heads at every turn. At first, the two merely exchange snide comments. Upon hitting the tennis court, though, they let out all of their pent-up animosity. The ladies take numerous cheap shots at one another, which is made all the more hilarious when played in slow motion. As Helen's stepchildren so eloquently put it, their tennis playing skills are about as graceful as what you'd see in a tampon commercial. I've seen better tennis playing in a tampon commercial. As far as slapstick goes, however, this scene deserves an ace. Number seven, a Wilson Phillips wedding. How are we doing tonight? I am not paying for this shit. It shouldn't come as a surprise that a movie called Bridesmaids works up to a big wedding. Even with that foresight, however, the ceremony still manages to catch the audience off guard with an appearance from Wilson Phillips. Annie is especially taken aback, as she assumed Helen was done stealing her thunder. Really? It's the last one. It's the last one. It's the last one. Nonetheless, Annie puts her friend first and goes with it, singing along with the band's rendition of Hold On. Someday somebody's gonna make you wanna turn around and say goodbye. Until then, baby, are you gonna let them hold you down and make you cry? The song proves so infectious that everybody gets into it, including Megan's air marshal friend. The performance leaves us on a touching closing note, as Annie and Lillian exchange a loving look before going their separate ways. Number 6. Don't Need Dental Work Kristen Wiig and Maya Rudolph are good buds in real life, which is largely why their on-screen chemistry feels so natural. There's nothing wrong with my teeth. You are so beautiful. <laughs> Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> I love you. This scene perfectly exemplifies the genuine friendship between these two enormously funny women. Getting together for lunch, Lillian pushes Annie to talk about her adult sleepover with Ted. No, it's too aggressive. I don't it's care. Like, <laughs> Hello? <laughs> As Annie gives her best penis impression, Lillian advises her to find a man who's not so, for lack of a better word, douchey. 
After all, Ted told Annie to get dental work, which she obviously doesn't need. I like he that. also told you you need dental work. He's an asshole. <laughs> I don't need <laughs> dental work. Again, this is a pretty simple interaction, but sometimes it's the little moments that speak volumes about a relationship. Number five, Annie and Helen's speeches. Yep, I got it. Lillian. From the moment they meet, Annie and Helen turn everything into a competition. Even at Lillian's engagement party, they try to outdo each other with their speeches. Annie keeps her initial speech short and sweet, while Helen's leaves everybody crying and laughing. Feeling upstaged, Annie reclaims the microphone to show Helen who Lillian's best friend truly is. Not one to go down without a fight, Helen returns with a saying from Thailand. Kap kun ka. Kap kun ka. Kap kun ka. Kap. Annie has a foreign saying of her own to share, although her Spanish could use some work. Sul marcada tienes con vivir en las. Lillian's besties keep fighting over the spotlight until they finally come together in not so harmonious harmony. In good times and bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. That's what friends are for. It's like the wedding toast equivalent of a rap battle. Number four, Annie meets Megan. Fell off a cruise ship. Oh, but I'm back. Shit. But yeah, oh shit. Yeah, oh shit. Took a hard, hard, violent fall, kind of pinballed down, hit a lot of railings, broke a lot of shit. There's no denying that Melissa McCarthy's Megan is responsible for some of the film's funniest moments, leaving the audience in stitches from the minute she's introduced. Annie isn't sure what to make of Megan at first, as she talks about falling off a cruise ship, meeting a dolphin, and climbing an old man like a tree. I'm not with him, sorry. Oh. All right. I'm glad he's single, because I'm gonna climb that like a tree. Although she seems like a buffoon on the surface, Megan is ultimately revealed to be a supportive friend with a caring heart. After Annie hits rock bottom, Megan gives her a motivational pep talk and a much needed bite in the ass. I don't think you want any help. That's I think you want to have a little pity party. Oh. Yeah, I think Annie wants a little pity party. Pity what you Ow! You're an asshole, Annie. What? Demonstrating a wide range of emotion, McCarthy more than earned that Oscar nomination for the performance. Number three, the giant cookie. Ooh, delicious, stupid cookie. I think I'll... Ugh. Maybe it's better if I dip it in their chocolate. While weddings can bring out the best in people, they can also bring out the absolute worst. Annie's bridal shower gift practically moves Lillian to tears, but nothing can top Helen's trip to Paris. Reaching her breaking point, Annie blows up at Helen and Lillian. Look at that f***ing cookie! Did you really think that this group of women was gonna finish that cookie? She takes out her frustration on a giant cookie and attempts to knock over a chocolate fountain. Just as Annie pulls no punches, Lillian isn't afraid to take off the gloves either. You know what? Why can't you just be happy for me and then go home and talk behind my back later like a normal person? Aside from being darkly humorous, this scene finds Annie at her most vulnerable as she loses everything in a couple of minutes. She doesn't even get to take home a puppy. Thankfully, Megan swiped enough for the both of them. Number two, ready to party. Please go back to your seat. It, yes, I'm with him. I'm, uh, I'm Mrs. Igles uh, Mrs. Iglesias. Uh, no, you're not. Bridesmaids scored a Screen Actors Guild nomination for Outstanding Cast in a Motion Picture, and this scene is a clear example as to why. A flight to Las Vegas finds the whole ensemble at their funniest. Rita and Becca get wasted, while Megan hits on a passenger she believes to be an air marshal. I have to get back to my seat. Yeah, you gotta get back on my seat. Uh, 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 you get it? It's Annie who steals the show, though, as the relaxation pills Helen gives her take effect. And I'm ready! to party with the best of them and I'm gonna go down to the river. Annie is so out of it that she compares first class to Nazi Germany and even channels William Shatner's character from a classic Twilight Zone episode, causing a panic. There was a colonial woman. She was turning Steve. butter. She was turning Steve butter better. on that wing. She is out there right now. Shit. Everyone remain calm. Fortunately, it turns out John really is an air marshal and Megan has his back. Before we get to our top pick, let's hold on for a few honorable mentions. Anybody else have anything they want to share today? I tricked two dogs already. They're in the back of my van. Wow, this is so awkward. I really want you to leave, but I don't know how to say it without sounding like a dick. Oh. They're disgusting. They smell. They're sticky. 
They say things that are horrible, and there is semen all over everything, okay? Disgusting. I cracked a blanket in half. Do you get where I'm going with that? Do you? I cracked it in half. Number one, food poisoning. Ooh! No, Megan. No! No! Look away! <laughs> Megan, no! In yet another scene where the entire cast fires on all cylinders, Lillian and her bridesmaids come to regret dining at the Brazilian restaurant Annie recommended. With the exception of Helen, who didn't eat any meat, everybody comes down with a case of food poisoning during a fitting. You look... <laughs> Megan, are you okay? Oh. Rita vomits all over the toilet, Becca vomits all over Rita, and Megan lets out a stream of hot lava into the sink. All the while, Annie refuses to admit that she's sick, going as far as to eat the Jordan almond Helen offers. As for Lillian, let's just say that nobody envied the dry cleaner and the street sweeper that had to clean up the mess she left behind. What's happening? It happened. What are you doing? It happened. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.